feel the love for me. Darling, just dive right in. Follow my lead. I found a program called C++. I can do programming language, and today I'll teach you about it. Hello, everybody. My name is Professor Simone Isaac Berry from Berry Science Lab. Today, we will be looking at another lecture of C++. Today, we will be looking at classes with variables. Now, of course, let me just take my daily sum of variables, throw that into my audience, and see, now we have a class, my class, with variables. Hooray! And the lesson. Thank you, everybody, for watching, and we will see you next time. Sorry, folks, that wasn't actually the end of the lesson. I mean, you should have known if you just looked at the time bar, you stupid. All right. So, today, we will be looking at classes with variables. Anyway, of course, you should have watched the previous video, but basically, to give you a quick recap of how classes work, basically, you can have a public and a private class, and then, to call a class and whatever crap is inside it, in the function, then you put your object, which is, well, isn't this an object? So this is the function object. That you, is what you need, and then you put bulb, and then the command. The command. All right. So now, function with variables work a little different. Basically, it's much, uh, much harder to anything with public because to make any changes to what you implemented inside your function or your class you have to change literally every single line of code that needs the function to work within it. You're not going to want to do it in public but rather in private which is what I do when I pee but whatever. All right so that's basically how a class function works because today is kind of an anomaly because the teaching is going to be very short and the coding is going to be very long. So stay tuned for the next part of this lesson. The pen has just attached to my belt and you know that sign. It's time for me to go. Let's go to the coding center. Uh, of course, classes with words or classes with variables. You can see it over there on the smart board. And right now we're just going to chug out the needed lines. And then we're gonna actually get to the variables of folks. We'll let this airplane fly by. So let's say I want to acquire my favorite number, or my fav number, for short. So what you gotta do is you gotta do this. And now, the thing is, you put the public class, then it's very easy to mess up. And basically, in short, if you want to change the implementation you put, then you will have to change the entire damn program. So, we're going to put this in private. Just like I, where I, oh, no, no. So, now, in private, let's define our X. And now, finally, let's go to the command center, also known as int name. Let's put some crap in. So let's call our function, actually my fab number. Let's just do that because I'm too lazy. And then let's say it's real. It's gonna be my object. Now it's real dot x and then I'm gonna put well something. Six. Now the thing is you may be saying, this is going to give me a headache. Like, oh my god. It's real six. My ex is a private member. What can I do? Well, this is going to give you a bit of a headache if you want to do something. But it's okay. Everything will be fine. So now... Instead, what I'm going to do is we're going to keep the code where we define x, but now we're going to get a public sector. The things that I know, or the things that I do, well, in public, private, uh, all I do is really just plan for my lessons, go to the bathroom, and that's it. 
and eat. But whatever. So, in public, we're gonna put a set name. And we're gonna set name. Oh god, I forgot to define it. Uh, void set name. Uh, and not name, but no. I'm gonna say. And then we put. No, not P! Not P! And now we're gonna put in here what we want. So we're gonna set null. Say string has. Uh, so we're gonna set null. And we're gonna say that null is equal to, well, x. And let's string num in here. What do I do? Good. So now, the thing is, if I print it out now, well, there's no way to get it. There's no function to just take my favorite number out of the decks and put it in. So, well, what instead I can do is, I'm gonna do void, another function to get my num. So, set num get num, um, the US lost in Vietnam. So, now, num equals x, uh, sorry, this is running in my way, that's why. So now, everything is fine, you can see. Now, get num is where we will return our num to its nummy num. So this warning over here, that's what the green crap means, it's just because we haven't put any stuff in here yet, so now we will pull it out of the depths. But you may be thinking, we still haven't like caught it. We still haven't like done anything with it. So now let's just do normal crap. Let's do something a little more relaxed, unexhausted. Let's just define our function and get on with it. So my fab number, I'm too lazy, so I'll do that. And then yeah, 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 yeah. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put ya 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 dot num and we'll set our num so we're gonna put some crap in there. Oh my god, why do I always forgot the semi colons? Why did I just say forgot? Oh my god, <laughs> my grammar. So we'll set my favorite number to six. We could have just done all this in a count expression, but whatever. This is for more useful stuff, okay? I'm just using a simple Right, so what we'll do now is we're gonna get our number. So, um, get num. Oh, no, no, we're gonna set it. Set it to something like, I don't know, six. All right. <clears throat> and now, what we're gonna do is finally, we have waited so long for this moment. Count. Yes, yes, dot get num. And, oh God, no errors whatsoever. Good. Six! Yes, yes, we got him. And now we can set it to really whatever we want. Even something stupid that's not a number, like it, 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 it. Let's just um, put end out for the law. God damn it! Recognizes end out is it separate identifier? Well, I guess I'll have to type that end out end out. Jesus Christ! It hates end out, doesn't it? All right. Thank you everybody for watching, and we'll see you next time.